three, Scuola. Yeah, baby, welcome to the world famous Stuttering John podcast. I know what you're apartment. thinking. Why, why no green screen today, John? I don't know. You know why? Because I cleaned this place, this room. Is the one where we found the because uh, I thought my kids were sleeping over photographs on from the real estate. And I'm very happy. Cat turds that all now over the carpet. The room, I know you see the box back it. there, but the you should have seen. Real estate I had so much of my memorabilia all pictures. over the floors. All the boxes Crazy. were broke, so I finally reboxed everything, and this the tapes. And everything is going on, but hey, everybody! Uh, how are you today? All right, Scout. Have a beer, uh, man. Uh, my wife and I are trying to get the move. We put some porno on the tube. Anyway, how are you? I'm gonna go get my hair glazed today. My glazing. You get your head glazed. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. On January 6th, 2022, was on the House floor and called the attack on the Capitol, said it was committed by domestic terrorists, which, Greg, we both know is the truth. There's that long line Goes back and forth About 50 people in line Oh not me though Because then they have another room That you go to The VIP check in You You were up there And in there they got coffee And cookies And candy Everything an 8 year old wants And couches Where I took the picture of my girl and her kids, two of her kids. That's the VIP check-in, Kevin. You left okay. stains on the ground. <laughs> okay. Is this you fucking can't... Andrea Brower? Are you back again? Because I'm not emailing anybody. Thank you. So it, it, You're emailing and spoof you, calling. Get it together. You're a liar. Because I'm not doing that. You call it a spoof number. Don't even disguise your voice. Of course, the bald idiot has to finally take off his KKK hood and come out of uh, hiding to try and write something. I wasn't even... Look at this guy. It wasn't even a political Maybe a year and a half ago, maybe less. Look how different he looks and sounds. But of course, Scott Zibaldi has some kind of problem. He's decomposing right in front of us. the kind of idiocy I deal with on a daily basis. The Twidiots and Scott D. Pace being the grand poobah of Twidiots. A non-stop. Hit the like button. That's this is my new impression of Lady K, John. It's a cross between Lady K and Betty Loco. What do you think, John? John, what was that John Travolta film? I forget. What was it, Betty? What was it? He's gonna get out of breath from doing that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm busy smoking here. Yeah, because that's how I talk. I talk like a man. Like an old lady from Rochester. And John. No, I, no, I, don't, I can't do a Brennan right now. Can't do anything. Hold on. Lack of lips. Neil's brother. Whose lips are shinier, Kevin Brennan or Lisa Jordanis? Come on, you pig. Oh, okay. What a disgusting <laughs> pig this guy is. I heard Mensa sent you a cease and desist. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I'm not in it anymore. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. On Twitter. Why would you go out and book somebody on Twitter? You know, I admire your tenacity, but why would you do that? Come here, you. Come here. Yeah, you. you. Oh, what an asshole. Why would I do that? Mensa says if you want to Most of the guests I got on Twitter. Mensa. I don't... Listen to how they speak. I don't... The grammar. Based my life on trolls. And the eloquence. Okay? So this and guy I, is out. I texted Adam that. Adam's not a bad guy, but he works for a bad person, which he's guilty by association. Vegas beer sales, Jerry, my man. 
Lady K and Shoei lose viewers every day. People want real stuttering John. I know. Look, I knew it was going to happen. They're not losing viewers. I planned it. You perfectly. didn't plan anything. You don't know what you're doing. Right. Such an idiot. I don't know. There's something going on there. When I was headlining the improv in Las Vegas. You didn't headline anywhere. Yeah, Casey is a good guy. Everybody else did. Casey's a very good guy. You but Vinny. You latched on is to Howard really Stern and Friends. Getting a little abusive to KC. livid that you did that. So we got to lighten up, people. Then you didn't pay the comedian. You know, now that I talk about Howard, look at this shirt, it's guys. The line scare. Okay, scare, you see this shirt? Scare of the cast. Howard Stern. Birthday you didn't pay bar. the guys. This shirt is the shirt I wore in the book Private Parts. So for all you people who don't realize... Jim this is Sorenson a shirt that I wore paid. when I was 24 and years you say, old. Oh, I needed a kitchen Maybe floor. 26. Floor and kitchen. I can still fit into the bitch. So how do you like that? Yeah. John's bony arms. Yeah, Try you call those bony? Yeah. Don't worry. Nikki B had a great conversation with Nikki B last night. Can't say I remember most of it, but we had a very nice conversation. Let's just say Nikki B talked me off a cliff. Thank you, Nikki. I mean, even Chad is... Chad is more likable than Stevie Lou. I mean, I don't know. See, I don't, I don't want a mod. I don't want a producer. It just ain't my thing. You know, so... You know, I'm not gonna do it. You know, there's no fucking way that I'm gonna want a fucking mod. Somebody wrote to me... You don't want to be professional. Which you've never Red been in your life. Quadfather is more of a stand-up guy than you. <laughs> Had, we're not cucks of the Stern Show. So your fucking assessment is so fucking ridiculous. And now I love that April is leaving you. Now I'm happy about it. You believe that too. You are a fucking Dickhead. You got it? 